So today, I will introduce you, uh, introduce to you the program team, university, and the support you get at the university. I will also introduce uh, you to the city of Glasgow, and also will give you a brief of uh, how uh, this program will run and what you will study and all. So, let me first introduce to you the program team. Our, our team members are highly qualified and well experienced in both academics and industry. Also, the diverse ethnic backgrounds of our team make our program more international. Let me first introduce to you myself, Dr. Sanita K. Hanif. I'm the program leader for both one year MSc International Tourism and Event Management and the two years with the professional practice. I'm the lecturer in events and tourism. I teach both UG undergrads and uh, po postgraduate masters. So the module I teach for masters is event planning, marketing and management. Um, actually, uh, I am an Indian, but my experience is basically from Dubai. I was in Dubai for uh, more than 15 years. And um, my experience in teaching uh, is actually multicultural, the students from multicultural background. Uh, we have Professor John Lennon. He is uh, a pro vice chancellor engagement at the university. And he is also the director of Moffat Center for Travel and Tourism Business Development. He uh, is teaching revenue and cost management for tourism events and hospitality industry. This is a finance-based module, but it's not basically uh, with the finance and accounts calculation, but more of management side. And he is um, Scottish in his ethnicity. And we have another Scottish uh, lecturer. He is Daniel Baxter. She is assistant head, he is assistant head international. He is the senior lecturer in tourism and events, and he is teaching designing tourism and event experiences for master students. We have Claire Bersiat now, that is TSP's mobility lead, and she is a lecturer in tourism, and her background is French, and she teaches destination management. Our uh, another lecturer is Dr. Nick Davis. He is, he is English. He is uh, from England and he's the program lead for undergraduate program in international tourism and events management. He's also the lecturer in tourism and events. He teaches the module sustainable development for tourism events and hospitality for MSc students. Next, we have Dr. Jayon Cho. She is a lecturer in tourism and events. She is also a team teacher, uh, a team tutor with the de destination management module along with the Claire. Her background is uh, South Korea. Then we have an Irish lecturer who is Michael um, Oregon, uh, who is a lecturer in tourism and events. Uh, he teaches designing tourism and events experiences. We have Dr. Pauline Bell. She is also Scottish. Uh, she is a senior lecturer in fashion and marketing. And um, she basically uh, handles the uh, module which is master's research project. And she's the module leader for that, for the entire school of uh, business. Then we have Dr. Kweku Bramlabi. He's a Nigerian. He is the one who handles all the digital um, design and all other digital aspects for our MSc, International Tourism and Events Management. 
Then we have Lincero Ventures, a PhD student. Uh, Lindsay, both Lindsay and Chrissy, both of them were the students, previous students of Masters in Tourism, International Tourism and Events Management. Now, Lindsay continues her PhD with us, and she is a module tutor, and she's a Canadian. And we have finally Chrissy Rose. He is an associate lecturer and module tutor with us. He is also Scottish. So, after seeing all our lecturers, you know, you now know that how diverse our background is. Our lecturers um, are. Are their ethnicity and their experiences are from different countries. This makes uh, this uh, program a complete international uh, in its operation. Now, the next question to you would be, why study tourism and events? That would be your next question. You know, studying tourism can open up a number of attractive job opportunities. It, should, it could be from becoming a travel agent or working in a hotel industry or hospitality industry, aviation, events, or many more. Every industry is either directly or indirectly associated with tourism. So, as Glasgow, or I would say the UK in generally, it's very prominent destination for tourism. So you know that what are the opportunities and how immense the opportunities would be available for the um, students here. Now, well, when I talk about the events, tourism and hospitality sector, Basically, in Scotland, it is so vast and it is uh, comparatively easy to find a, a full time or part time work opportunities in the industry here. And um, you can see here the event industry in the UK is worth 42.3 billion annually. And um, you can see people regularly participate in some form of events and destinations. So that makes the industry so busy and that makes, that brings a lot of opportunities for the students, especially for international students. We have a lot of part-time opportunities. Now the next question, why Scotland or why Glasgow? Scotland has a world-renowned education system and Scotland, the, the, more than that, it's a, a world-renowned education system. We have basically, you know, um, more than 50,000 students from over 180 different countries. They chose to study Scotland every year. And Scotland is also a community of world leading researchers and innovators with a high rate of employment for graduates. And Scotland is a country which is a real, very relaxed, welcoming and diverse with cosmopolitan cities. So when I talk about cosmopolitan city, Glasgow is one among that. So, Glasgow. Glasgow is one of the Europe's most vibrant and diverse destinations and is recognized as a world-class city for to live, to work, study, and to visit. So, I can say Glasgow is very unique and the city is, city's warmth, humor, personality, and especially the people, as I'm an international person, I can say how welcoming and friendly the people over here are, actually. And the city's warmth, humor, and uh, personality 
complement the world-class culture, heritage, architecture, music, sports, and events. And Glasgow is the National Geographic Traveler's top 20 best of the world's destination. So these are all actually makes Glasgow a unique destination to study. Um, and also, as I said, Glasgow is people are very friendly. Um, I can tell you that the city was also voted for the friendliest city in the world in a rough guide poll and described as a most visit destination by the New York Times and The Guardian and Wanderlust. Okay. Move to the next. So as I talk to you about how warm and welcoming the city is, the city attracts more business, businesses to invest uh, other than, you know, the visitors, other than the tourists. The Glasgow is a place for investors and uh, it is as an outstanding tourist destination. It provides a lot of commercial opportunities and Glasgow is the gateway to Scotland. And as you know that the, it is in attracting a lot of businesses and a lot of tourists, you can imagine that the opportunities, the, the job opportunities, which Glasgow creates for the students, both as part-time and full-time. Now, the quality of dining and shopping. If you are after some retail therapy, Glasgow is second only to London for the best shopping experience in the UK. So Glasgow comes as second when it comes to the shopping. And Glasgow also has world-class cuisines and the quality of dining is also really commendable. Now, Glasgow's culture, Glasgow is a city steeped in culture, you can see various artifacts and um, architectural fe features, monuments, museums, what not in Glasgow. N when, when I say culture, it's not only the culture, it is actually a combination of a culture and creativity. So you can see the lot of creativities incorporated with the culture in Glasgow. Uh, Glasgow's world-class event venues. Glasgow is recognized as having the UK's best convention bureau and is one of the world's top five cities for sporting events. And the SSE Hydro is the third busiest entertainment arena in the world. And cost of living in Glasgow, Glasgow is named as the world's second most affordable city by time out 2022. Um, if you are looking for an affordable play, place to live and study, I would really say Glasgow is a place, um, a best place in the UK. Katie, can you please play that video? Yep, we'll just get that playing now. There's just a couple of seconds delay and then it'll start. No, no worries, no worries.
So, as now you are familiar with the Glasgow, it, the next question is, if Glasgow is the best city to live and study in the, U, the UK, the next question would be, where in Glasgow? So, here comes the answer for your question. That is Glasgow Caledonian University. So, why Glasgow Caledonian University? Why GCU? If you are, if you want to choose GCU, I can tell that all our programs are career focused programs. We developed our program or we structured our program or designed our program in such a way it basically uh, aimed at or the needs of the industry and we offer a variety of innovative specialized courses that help you with your career and we have innovative teaching methods all our teaching staff use innovative teaching methods and we have like, you know, virtual hospital, high tech broadcasting suite, fashion factory, digital simulations, international jo learning journeys, you know, even an online second life campus. Glasgow Caledonian puts a lot of effort into helping you enjoy your program and gain the professional skills and knowledge employers want or employers looking for. And we are award-winning student support. The facilities which we provide in the university, such as our one-stop info information center, support centers offering help with everything from borrowing laptops to getting council tax rebates, it's all helped us win the award for our student support, including the Times Higher Education Outstanding Support for Overseas Students Award. Then the next is recognized for research. When I say recognized for research, our um, staffs, not only in academics, they also do research parallelly and encourage the students to do the research along with their academics. And we have, in tour, for tourism, we have Moffat Center, which is the research center, um, which provides students to do a lot of research uh, along with their studies. Our uh, students are like designed for, uh, you know, our courses are like, designed for uh, today's student, how this one is like, everything, you know, we designed is from highly, mm, for example, from highly affordable sports center, the ARC, that is the library, the um, health and recreational centers, the convenient, uh, and they're all convenient and all, all single site campus, and we have uh, like um, the solitaire centers, multiple PowerPoints, workstations, study areas, then free Wi-Fi wi all over the campus. It's all designed with the student's mind. Then when I talk about our location and convenience, Glasgow, Caledonian is a perf is a perfect uh, um, place for students because it is located in a convenient uh, location. It is easily accessible to everybody. Um, when I talk about uh, accessibility, um, near uh, we are actually very near to the Glasgow Central Railway Station. It's just walk up walking distance and. Uh, we have another uh, railway station, Glasgow Queen Railway, Queen's Railway Station, and our campus is located in front of the Buchanan bus station, and we have a subway station as 
like also within walking distance. And when I talk about generally about Glasgow's location, as I already said, Glasgow is a very um, warm and welcoming city with vibrant live music and art scenes, jumping nightlife, accessible sports, um, then um, spacious city parks and uh, shopping centers, much more, you know, it's all, e there is all easy access. Okay. And uh, I'm not actually forgetting about the scenery or, you know, the world-class festivals or events. So everything uh, within accessible distances from the university. Um, let me just move to the next. Yeah. So our programs, our program has been developed along with the industry knowledge and needs, which I told you already. When it comes to the events and tourism subject area, our ranking, we are number one university in Scotland for this events and tourism subject area. And second in the UK in Times University ranking and sixth in the UK in Guardian League tables. Now, our programs are tailored to meet the needs of the tourism and event industry. So, um, our, as I said that we developed the program in such a way that it caters almost all the needs of the industry and we uh, produce our students industry ready. Then we are in like, you know, developing skills that will make the students global citizens and industry leaders. Um, when I say that um, we make global citizens and industry leaders, uh, I know that not everybody could be industry leaders, but I can assure you that once you complete our program, everybody will be industry ready. They, according to their specialization as tourism, gives you immense opportunity to work in several fields, like if it's hospitality, hotel management, aviation, travel agency, um, destination or events, whichever, like by the end of the program, you will get to know that, which is the real uh, field for you which field will be better for you. And that makes you industry ready and you can specialize in that. Then uh, when it comes to the learning approaches, as I already said that we use innovative learning approaches, uh, it's, I should start it with the simulations. Uh, so we use simulations, basically digital simulations, uh, and um, we have a lot of guest uh, speakers and field trips for our students, and we incorporate live projects uh, in our modules, especially like right now we are working on a live project uh, to develop a destination called uh, Arvin, which is in uh, in Scotland, so uh, that destination is like um, it just a basic resources. So our students are working with the project to develop it as a destination. So this is for a seven years project. We started with this project; it's been two years now. So our students are working on that project. So it's a live project. Then. Uh, um, we have event management digital platform. So for event uh, planning, marketing and management, students will be using digital platform. They prepare their um, venues uh, virtually and they design the marketing and everything virtually. And uh, finally, they put it uh, as a live event. So that goes as, uh, with the digital platform. Then, we have industry site visits and internship opportunities for students. And all our modules emphasis on sustainability. Um, these are some of the companies we have worked with.
these are the live events conducted by our students, MSc students. You can see our diverse background of students as well in it. This is the hospitality training provided by us in collaboration with the Hilton. These are all sponsored by university. The students do not need to spend anything for this. And we have learning journeys. This, all, this is also sponsored by uh, the university. So, as so you have seen all this, let's look at what support you can get at our university. So, regarding the academic, academic support, if you are an international student, your background of study is entirely different from the, uh, the system of the, like, you know, the UK education. So many students I have seen in the beginning struggling with their assess assessments and um, their, um, the normal reading and writings and everything. And English is not the first language, so they struggle with that as well. So we have um, a very supportive academic uh, learning uh, support team. The learning, the learning Development Center, they engage our students with um, group sessions or also one-on-one -on -one sessions for the students who need particular support for their studies. And they support you throughout your study period. And um, there, there are academic development tutors. They provide additional learning support um, in areas of like, you know, effective reading, listening, uh, essay writing, essay or report writing, then exam revisions or exam techniques. It's mostly in, in masters, we use online exams. Then how to deal with the uh, plagiarism and uh, referencing and how to do the presentations, these kind of things. So this... Um, ADCL team, they actually support our international students a lot. The next is a personal tutor support. This is like advice, guidance, encouragement, help and support in any academic uh, issues any problem with the, you know, any problem which is affecting your academic uh, performance or to help you with your, to develop your personal academic or professional skills or, um, or probably to discuss uh, your career planning and employability. And uh, this, these personal tutors currently for the MSc, I um, myself act as a personal tutor as well. Um, and uh, we uh, provide uh, employability and study skill sessions every week for the students. This is a group session, uh, you know, that just to support students' employability and study skills uh, development. Um, apart from that, if a student is having any um, issues in their academics or personal, which is affecting their studies, um, they can actually get a one-on-one -on -one appointment with the personal tutor. And um, personal tutors are um, always ready to help the students. Um, and we have other st supports, that's the student association, the student association, they help the students, uh, the newcomers, and you, they always welcome students if you have any kind of issues and um, the professional supports uh, provided by the university, like counseling services or 
the university has a disability team. If you are having any disability, then you can definitely contact disability team. They're ever ready to help you. Then if you're suffering with any mental health uh, issues, then you can contact the mental health advisors. So we actually have a very strong supporting team at the university for any sort of support as a student you need. And we, um, like if you contact the team well in advance, they will arrange your, um, like for example, if you are having any disability, uh, they will, if you contact the disability team, they will inform that all the module uh, like lecturers or all the module tutors about your disability. So all the tutors will help you to overcome that disability and to concentrate in your studies. Mm. Okay. So now the next is if you want to choose this program, what is the structure of this program? How this uh, program is going to run? So this program is uh, divided into three trimesters for the one year program um, students and for the two years professional practice students this is uh, divided into uh, four uh, trimesters so if you join in September if you join as a September intake your program structure starts with these modules the first module, Designing Tourism and Event Experiences, Destination Management, then Revenue and Cost Management, then Ethics, Sustainability and Governance. So first two trimester, you study four modules in uh, each trimester. So uh, the second uh, trimester modules are Event Planning, Marketing and Management, sustainable development for tourism and events and hospitality, international marketing planning and strategy, and postgraduate research methods. So in case if you are uh, intake starts in January, then the January student starts with this uh, uh, tr tr trimester. That means you start with event planning, marketing and management. Uh, the, these four modules. I, I'm not sure. Can can you see the pointer here, which I'm pointing? We can't see the pointer, oh. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. So uh, I would say basically uh, event planning, marketing and management, then sustainable development for tourism events and hospitality, international marketing planning and strategy, then postgraduate research methods. So if you are a January intake, you will study first these four modules, then you will move on to try A, that is designing tourism and events experience, destination management, revenue and cost management, then ethics, sustainability and governance. Then after that, you will move on to try C, that is developing leadership for the common goods, then master's research project. Okay. And if you are a two-year master student, then after the uh, completion of three uh, trimester, you will move on to your professional practice placement. That will be in your year two. So um, there are a lot of other details about professional practice placement due to the time constraint. I'm not providing those details now. If anybody would like to know more about that, you can contact me directly, email me. I am more than happy to, um, you know, get back to you. And you can find us on various social media platforms. Just plug in to social media for further useful resources and regular updates. Um, so, uh, but still, you will not be able to get all the, you know, the program Mm, details that like the deep details of the program so it, i'm still if you want to get more contact me and mm, i'm sure that you know at glasgow caledonian university you will find superb facilities 
teaching excellence and a high quality education with practical and industry exposure. Okay. Any questions? Thank you for your time.